back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Nahal. Welcome to my channel. Today's going to be a very fun video, a video that I've never filmed before actually. It's going to be my hair prep hair care routine. So I'm taking you from the beginning of literally waking up to I do for my hair for when I'm sleeping to the hair prep that comes before my shower and shampoo and condition to the shampoo and condition part and then to the hair styling part as well. I will be sharing some products that I use that I use religiously that's in my hair care hair prep routine. But I also will be sharing a few new products that I picked up recently that I will be using as well, which I'm excited about. Um, so we will be trying some products together. But this is basically the end hair routine, all done with the Dyson. So I have my Dyson Airwrap here that I will be using. I love my Dyson Airwrap. I had my Dyson Airwrap for about two years now. I absolutely love it. It is so functional. It comes with the eight attachments that I will be using about six of the attachments during my hair routine. Also, I just love it. I mean, it protects my hair. I do use heat protectant, but still it uses minimal heat on the hair. So it's just really protectant of your hair and it's not rough on your hair. And it's just the best way for me to style my hair. So yeah, the eight attachments really is multifunctional and that's what I love. It's my lifestyle. Fits everything I need and absolutely love it so i will be sharing how i use my dyson air wrap and my little root hair routine and i'm starting right from the beginning of waking up i just kind of had breakfast and now i'm actually going to dive into my hair care routine and this is the steps that i use and i will be sharing the products that i use as well so i hope this angle works my bathroom is surrounded by mirrors so you're going to see all angles of me but i hope it is not too distracting and maybe you might be a bit helpful because you can actually see the back of my hair as you can see my hair is braided and i braid my hair before i go to sleep every night so i'm just going to go ahead and unbraid it i try and avoid it of rubbing against the pillow because when it's rubbing against the pillow as you're sleeping it causes friction and friction tends to result in dryness which leads to breakage so i want to avoid that so that way i just do a quick braid it's nothing fancy or even i just kind of just go with it and braid it recently i started to like braid it from the root which i was just actually braiding from the ends which you could also do it also helps with it doesn't tangle so if i wasn't washing my hair today and this was my hair i would just really unbraid my hair probably put some heat protectant and then I basically am left with like these beautiful effortless beach waves as you can see. Obviously if I wasn't washing my hair I would just leave it like this and probably obviously heat protectant air, maybe use some oil at the end and then step out as anyone kind of would. So I think that's a great way to keep it effortless but it's also um, is not tangled and is detangled right now which is very easy for me now to dive into my hair care routine and I don't have to worry about detangling it or taking out any like rough ends and being extra rough and extra hard with my hair when combing it. Now that I've taken out my braid, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and prep my hair for before I wash it. So I do a whole prep before I wash it. First I comb my hair and the comb I use is um, a wet brush. This one I just picked up from Amazon and I love this one because it's not rough on your hair. It's really soft. As you can see, just because I braided it, it was already detangled. So I'm just easily combing through it. Very simple to comb through it. I always make sure to start at the bottom so I don't pull the root. And I always start with like small strands and then obviously work my way up the root so usually you would get tangles towards the end of your hair so that way I get them out i see the importance of obviously using products in your hair before showering it instead of just shampooing conditioning it i think it's important to give the nutrients and all the love and care you give to your hair but also feed it to your scalp once i do that i go in with some hair product one hair product that i recently discovered is castor oil this one i just picked up from amazon and i apply it to the root of my hair you can see it comes like this i choose to use cold pressed castor oil rather than a refined castor oil since it has more of a chemical process to it i find that cold pressed castor oil has more of a natural properties in it so i choose to use this and obviously the more organic and natural the better so obviously applying it to my scalp is going to nourish my scalp 
and help send moisture and restore any dry or irritated skin that I might have. Especially if you have dandruff, this would be a perfect step for you. I definitely don't, but I think that a lot of antifungal properties, which actually is interesting to know, which also leads to less dandruff. So it is quite interesting. Also, when you're applying, don't forget to apply so the back of your head because we cannot forget that. Once I add my castor oil to my head, then I go in with a head massager. And actually you can use obviously a more traditional method, which is what I was using before I got the head massager, which is your hands. So you can just basically go in and massage your scalp. Make sure you get all that product in there. Recently, I picked up a head massager, which is a comb and it looks like this. As you can see, this is definitely a very trending product right now. So I'm sure this would be very a recognizable comb. But basically, I love this one because one, it is very comfortable to hold. As you can see, your palm just rests in it, it has these big bristles, and then it feels incredible once you go in. I do this, I want to say every day, before I even braid my hair at night, I will go in and massage my head, just because it feels incredible as well as very beneficial. So you can see I'm just like taking my time with it. Your hair and scalp is just as important as your skincare routine. And it helps with the blood flow, stimulating the hair follicles. So obviously by stimulating the hair follicles and the blood flow leads to hair growth, which is what we want. I'm just going in on all sides. And I mean, have you ever had your hair tied up so tight and then released it? I mean, the follicles need to move. They can't just grow in one direction. So it's always important to style your hair differently. So I'm not done with this head massager because I'll use it once I add more product into my hair. I also do apply castor oil. Castor oil helps with growth of hair. So I actually apply it to my eyebrows. I've never had problems with my eyebrows growing, but I mean, as we get older, you don't know what type of hair loss you're gonna have. So I just actually apply a little bit when I'm about to shower just to my eyebrows and then I'll also do my eyelashes. This little package that I bought is quite convenient because it actually comes with an applicator. So this one is for your eyebrows and then this little applicator is for your eyelashes. So I will apply that to my eyebrows and eyelashes but I'm going to actually keep this for my last step when I'm done with my hair so my castor oil will stay here until I'm ready. The last step of my hair prep is applying a leave-in hair treatment and I love to use the Ola Flex Hair Perfector num in number three. They have all different products so you could definitely see what is best for your hair. This is good for all hair types and it repairs and strengthens your hair. Especially after I apply it, my hair feels so silky and soft even just feeling it in the shower once you wash it off, but this just feels amazing. I love to apply this and, you know, do what I need to do, continue drinking my morning coffee or, you know, be on my laptop, do some work or whatever it may be, but I just love putting this in my hair and it also smells incredible as well. So before I apply this, I will wet my hair and then we will apply this mainly to the ends of my hair, but we'll put, put some in the root as well and then I'll go in and massage it. I'm running low on this because I love this product so much. I've been using it for years. You know you love a product when you have to replace it multiple times and just years go by and you don't even realize that you're still loving it as much as when you first discovered it years ago. Also, I'll just go in and just massage it because this step of massaging is never missed, especially when you put some hair products in there. You just want to let it sink in and not just sit on the hair. You want to actually bring that product to your scalp and feed it. The castor oil is quite thick, so you don't actually need a lot. And then eyelashes, you need to be a little bit more specific when you're applying it. You don't want to get it in your eye. So I shampoo and I deep condition with both Kerastase products. I love Kerastase products, but it actually is the first time that I'm going to be trying the new range, which is the Premier range. And I actually picked up the shampoo, which I will be trying. I always have used the blue bottle. This one is a reparative shampoo, which helps with the buildup and strengthening the hair, helping with the damages and leaving it silky and shiny, which is what I want. I want it to 
target the damages, to repair what it needs to repair, but also leave it silky and shiny, but not oily. That's not what we want. So I have high hopes for this one and I love Kerastars because they are all sulfate free. And then the hair mask I'm trying is actually from the Nutritive line, which I just picked up as you can see. So let's unbox it together. This one I'm excited to try because again, I've always used the hair mask, but I've used the blue hair mask, the blue packaging. This one is a white packaging with an orange lid. So that's how I distinguish between the products through the colors. The reason I use the hair mask is I feel like it's a thicker formula and instead of the conditioner, the conditioner is very water based and it doesn't stick and nourish my hair as much as the leave-in conditioner. I don't mind staying in the shower for an extra three minutes, four minutes, waiting for this to settle in. Definitely hydrates my hair more, it feels more nourished, it feels more sleek and shinier, and it just styles a lot better. So just based on like my experience, I've used obviously both products, but this one is definitely the one for me. The key ingredient in this particular one, which is why I'm trying it, is B3, and B3 really helps nourish and strengthen your hair, which is my end goal and what I want. So that's why I'm excited to try this particular product. As you can see, I showered, I shampooed, I deep conditioned my hair, and I actually just ended up combing my out my hair. Before I comb out my hair, I love to use this product. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that Bumble and Bumble Invisible Hair Oil Primer that is also heat protectant is my number one favorite product i love it so much i've been through so many bottles it's been with me for years it helps me detangle and nourishes my hair before i comb it but it also acts as a heat protectant so i love to apply this even if i don't shower i apply it for the days just like before i step out to protect it from the sun so i love this product i actually picked up this product yesterday i haven't tried this one but i've heard amazing things hence why i picked it up in the 50 ml. This is the Color Wow Extra Strength Dream Coat. It's an anti-frizz and it's supposed to leave your hair smooth and glossy. So we will see today how that works if I notice a difference. But I mean, this is like a trending product and I'm excited to try it. So I'm just gonna spray that. Right now it is really, really hot in New York and my hair does tend to get frizzy with the weather. So I presume that it would be very helpful. So any anti-frizz product right now with the humidity in New York is essential. And then before we get started, I have to mention my Dyson. So the Dyson Airwrap comes in this huge, enormous box right here, which looks like so and it comes with eight attachments here it is you can see that this all has the attachments and the main tool i love it because it's so multifunctional and it's not damaging to my hair it has very minimal heat instead of a actual heat drying tool it comes with the actual main tool which you can adjust the speed of it we have three speeds i usually keep it in the middle and then you have the cool shot medium heat and then high heat i usually will use the medium heat but i also always release it with a cool shot. This is what I'm gonna use to dry my hair to 80% before I start curling it. But also you can smooth it down for any flyaway, so I love that. It also comes with a round volumizing brush, which I love to use this on my bangs and just add that volume to the top. So I'm gonna go in with that actually for my bangs. I like to start with my bangs first. We have two curling wands, 1.2 inch, and the other one is a 1.6 inch. And then two soothing brushes. So this one is thinner one, so I guess this is more better for smoothing out your hair. If you this is the one that you're going to go for so i like to use this i also like that the actual brush turns so it will move in the movement that you move your hair and this one is the firmer brush maybe if you have like curls this one will be ideal and this one also turns as well so i really like that i like to like pop up with this if i wanted to you know just touch up the ends or the like my root or anything to um, smooth that out so let's get started i'm going to start with my bangs and then i'll be going in with the drying brush just to dry out about 80% of my hair before I start curling. Let it sit for a little bit. I just want to kind of just briefly style them so they're out of the way and then I'll clip them off. So just release, a really pretty bounce to it as you can probably see. Wet hair. It's about 80% dry. I'm just gonna quickly go through with my soothing hairbrush just to kind of get rid of those like kinks so it's ready for the styling. And this will be very done very, very briefly. So just to kind 
to show you this is the side that I went through with the soothing brush and you can see it just kind of brings everything back to the calmness before I start curling it. My hair is still wet, so it will hold the curls when I start using the barrel. This is the side that I have not been through with the soothing brush. And I, like I said, I just go over it. I make sure I get those like in between kicks that are under my hair. And yeah, so it only is about a 30 second on each side, maybe maximum. Let's go ahead and do this side and then we'll be up to the curling part. So before I get into styling, I like to kind of style the front part of my face. So like the hair that frames my face and then to split it, which I learned from a hairdresser, I just go behind my ear, take that hair that's behind my ear, split it so it's like my front part and then the same this side okay there we go and then i'll just clip this and then i work my way towards the back i attached my barrel which is like this and then i'm just going to start working my way curling it i like to curl in different directions that way it gives it more volume and a bounce but i know not if that's not everyone's preference Is done I'm gonna go ahead and clip my bangs because now that they're styled I wouldn't need it it's just so annoying to it always like bounces up but yeah okay so that's one side now we're gonna do the other side and then work on the back it's coming together I just wanted to show you that I actually have been using the bigger barrel for most of my hair but now just like in between I will go and use the smaller barrel just so it has more of a defined curl especially at the top area just to give it that smoother blend and then more defined curls throughout just really makes it look bouncier and that way I'm not just doing one barrel only and I'm like switching it up and then I unwind slowly without pulling on the hair and then that's how I get the curl and you can see that one is such a defined curl and a tighter curl compared to the larger barrel I'm already seeing a difference of the frizz of my hair just because I don't know if it's got to do with this product that I use but honestly it's like not frizzy the curls are staying I'm I'm pretty impressed with that um, there was obviously a few products I tried differently today that I haven't tried before but for the most part this is exactly what I do and here is my finished hair I basically went in with the bigger barrel I use basically all the tools that it comes with but yeah I like how it turned out I'm probably gonna add some oil so it kind of stays hydrated I mean after all that this hair will last me a week maybe it depends what I'm doing I mean I will wash it like midweek in a few days if I want to but it ideally will last me like a week if I wanted to and like I said I always am putting heat protectant in the mornings and I always braid my hair which I think that it helps it a lot as well to keep it detangled to not have a frizz and to just be gentle with it because at the end of the day our hair is very very sensitive so that is the final look i think for my last touch i am just going to add oil this one i just picked up it's just a simple moisturizing oil treatment lavender and marula oil so i'm just going to put some here and just warm it up and just add that to my ends just to kind of keep that hydrated and yeah that is my total hair care routine from the hair prep to the hair wash to the styling. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link all my products that I use down below in the description box. If there is any products that you recommend that I need to try, I'm always open to trying new products. Definitely comment them down below. Make sure to subscribe and join my little community here on YouTube and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.